Ugh. Okay. I don't know how to start this video. I really don't. So I think I'm just going to say what's on my mind. I think I like torturing myself. I'm convinced I'm so obsessed with self-destruction that I just want myself to suffer continuously. Because nobody asked Stu to play mobile games. Stu just decided it was a good idea. Wow, Stu, you are the prime minister of bad ideas. Well, I had to suffer through it, so you've got to suffer through it too. And trust me, between emulator bugs, personal shit, and fucking the games being... Blah, there was plenty of suffering. The kind of suffering where you'd be happier with a chainsaw up your ass. But let's quit complaining and actually do the video. Stu is about to play some mobile games. And you're gonna watch it. I SAID you're gonna watch it! Sit back down! The best way I can describe mobile games is... Mobile games are the games that normal people play. Normal people. They have dead-end jobs. Their name is Roy. They listen to FM radio. They watch the news. They don't own a pet because the baby might be allergic. And now and then, whether it's at coffee break or that long way to the DMV, or maybe in the dentist waiting room waiting on Karen to get her molars filled in, when the boredom gets too much, they find themselves at a dilemma in which they have no idea how to pass the time. It is that this time, he will pull out his Samsung Galaxy that he bought in 2015. It still works, why buy another one? And they will indulge themselves in our first game. And the one I was waiting to torture myself with. <sighs> Angry Birds. You've heard of it. You probably never played it, and why would you? You're not Roy, you're a GAMER! You play GAMER GAMES! Like, like, uh, Battle of Duty 4 Revenge and starring what's-his-face from that one game, I don't fucking know. I'm putting it off, I'm putting it off. We have to do it. Here's Angry Birds. Good lord, what is that noise? It sounds like Toad from Mario got stuck in a blender. <laughs> Okay, at least I can say that the game is simple. I take one look at it and I know what I'm supposed to do. I wish everything else in life was this simple. How the hell are you supposed to open this? Wait a minute, I know. There, open it. Why do I have you? So the object of Angry Birds is that you have to kill these green electrical sockets that came to life. What? It's supposed to be a pig? How? How is that a pig? And the way you kill these pigs is to slingshot these birds at them. You knock them over, they die, everyone's happy but me because I had to play this game. They actually try to mix it up some by giving you different birds to play with, like the yellow one that does I have no fucking clue, and these black birds that fucking explode! A freaking kamikaze bird that willingly blows itself up on impact. I don't know how I feel about that. I know one thing, if you feed rice to a pigeon, it blows up. Exploding birds aside, there's something else that bothers me about this game. Why are we killing pigs? What did the pigs do? Does Angry Birds have lore that explains why we're killing pigs? You know, just a second, just a second. Angry Birds lore. <laughs> it does. The game revolves around a group of birds whose eggs were stolen by a legion of green pigs who wish to eat them. The birds then use a slingshot to destroy the support beams of the pigs. Now, it's really no deeper than that, huh? Ain't no more story to it than that, huh? Maybe I need to watch the movie. And there's an eagle taking a piss in a pond some birds are swimming in. Okay, let's not watch the movie. The first game in the series was initially released in December 2009 for iPhone. At the time, the swine flu epidemic was in the news. News, so the staff decided to use pigs as the enemies of the birds. You guys remember swine flu? It was the COVID of 2009. These pigs are swine flu personified. Okay, now we have a reason to hate them. Let's kill them. So is there anything else on this wiki article? Or is there any, any, uh, oh. No, not, not, not the slash. No, 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 no. It is. Slash from Guns N' Roses made a theme song for Angry Birds. Well, hell, let's listen to it.
Well, shit in my mouth and call me a toilet. That's actually good. But still, what the hell, Slash? I mean, it's bad enough Geico has a rat problem, and it's bad enough we had to protect our chicken from docking. Now we got Slash doing an Angry Birds theme. Slash, explain yourself. The game is addicting, but at the same time, it's an ingenious uh, game. Uh, uh, basically a physics of the way that the game is put together which just fascinates me. Oh please Slash, the only Angry Birds you know about are the Eagles when you passed out drunk in their dressing room. And a game of physics? Come on, we all know what the best game of physics is. I made a video about it. Speaking of I made a video about it, if you're watching this as a newcomer and you've never seen my videos before and you're wondering if I'm going to play that game, I already played it. If they make a raid too, I'll play that too and I'll be extremely pissed that I have to. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> now, if I was going to sponsor somebody, it would be somebody who's already as low on the totem pole as I am. Because us small-time YouTubers, we got to look after ourselves, man. We're all working men. I'll give that screen time to somebody who deserves it, because God knows I don't. But now let's do a different Angry Birds game. Let's go up to Angry Birds 2. Now the thi- uh, Oh. <laughs> Well, what do you want to look at my photos for? All you're going to see is skunk and bobcat porn. Aw, uh, there's no slash theme or nothing. In fact, there's nothing at all. It's not doing anything. I'm pushing all the buttons, but it's not doing anything. Oh, no. What a shame. I guess we can't play this one. That's too bad. You know what? Enough Angry Birds. There's a million different versions of Angry Birds, but they're all basically the same thing, I believe. I didn't really look into that very much because I don't want to play Angry Birds all that much. I played the Angry Birds. I'm going to play. I want to play something else. Oh, God. No. Yes, this thing. If you've been on Facebook long enough, you've probably seen this thing before. Basically, the whole premise of this app is you say something in the microphone and it says it back, except it's Alvin in the Chipmunk style. Did you know that you can get diarrhea from eating squirrels that have COVID-19? Which is something I can do in Sony Vegas by pressing one damn button. Are people really that bored that they're amazed by stuff like this? I mean, I got bored of Alvin and the Chipmunks the moment I saw them. I got it. They're high-pitched. You're really gonna run that bullshit into the ground, huh? Remakes and movies and all that good shit? Well, they've run that shit into the ground, too. Talking Tom has got freaking uh, a million games, a TV show. I'm surprised it doesn't have a movie. I did check. Oh, uh, that's enough. Let's see what else this app does oh you you can punch the cat well that's kind of weird wait this is supposed to be funny he actually sounds like he's in pain holy shit wait can you spam the punch oh yeah yeah punch him punch him beat him up beat him up beat him up beat him up hey guys welcome to my punch out let's play today we're fighting talking tom <laughs> Oh, it farts. That's lovely. I did some looking around, and apparently there's a lot of controversy that got stirred up because of Talking Tom. There was one later on down the line called Talking Angela that was apparently used by pedophiles to get information about underage kids. Now, that turned out to be a hoax. That was not real. I tell you what is real. Is, is real? As real? There's some real controversy going around that the advertisements that the Talking Tom app gives you sometimes is porn shit. Apparently, they don't have really any control over what gets advertised on their app, so you could just randomly get porn. I could just imagine me, 10-year-old baby Stu, playing with an Alvin and the Chipmunk cat, and then, uh, oh, oh, better than Tinder, huh? What What are you trying to convey here? Uh, you don't even have... Uh, Oh, uh, you know what? I think that's enough talking, Tom. If I take any more, I think I'm going to go crazy. You know what? Let's cleanse our palate. Let's play a game that's actually good. You know, something we know, like uh, Wario Land. Yeah, Wario Land. Now that's a fun game, right? Oh, this isn't Wario Land. This isn't Wario Land at all. Is that Tiger from a Pixar movie or something? Is it from that movie Over the Open Season Hedge Madagascar? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. That doesn't even look like Wario. It looks like Joel with a mustache. Hello, my name is Super Sweden Brother 2. And this is Super Sweden Brothers. And in Sweden Brothers, we eat the good voter melon. And we become Super Sweden 
two. It's him, boys. He never left. Let me tell you something about mobile in general. Mobile is a world where even a good game can be made absolutely horrible by giving it the worst controls imaginable. For instance, GTA Vice City is the game that shaped who I am today, and it's the reason I obsess over the 80s. But playing that game can turn into an absolutely horrible experience when you have to play GTA with touch controls. My god, I could not drive a car to save my life. I've heard a lot of GTA fans say that the mobile version is screwed up and, and dumbed down in a couple of places, like the game is messed up. I didn't even get far enough to see that. This is the only footage I recorded of the game because it broke my soul so much to play one of my favorite games of all time in the worst control scheme imaginable. I do wonder though, is Chinatown Wars okay on mobile? It was meant for handhelds to begin with. You know what? It's actually passable. It's not the greatest thing in the world and it wouldn't be my preferred way to play Chinatown Wars, but you can actually control the car somewhat. And some people are actually okay with this. In fact, I know people who play Chinatown Wars on their phone. It's all right, but I'll play it on PSP in a heartbeat. Now that we've got the GTA rant out of the way, uh, while we're on a positive note, let's go to a game that I actually did somewhat enjoy. One of the other big name mobile games I used to hear a lot about was called Plants vs. Zombies. You probably heard that name too and probably never played the game. Well, I took the bullet, I played the game, and it didn't suck. I wouldn't say it was a great game, but it didn't suck. Tell us your age. Check it out. It goes from zero to 60. Finally, a game for me. If I had to complain about one thing is that this game is published by evil assholes themselves. Basically what you do is you take your finger and you lay down a whole bunch of plants that'll shoot at the zombies and you got to shoot them all before they get all the way to the end and tear up your lawnmowers. Also, do not ask me why lawnmowers are in ancient Egypt. What would you even do with them? Cut sand? I'm confused and I don't get confused easily except for all of those times that I do. If I had to explain why I ended up liking this game, I, the only thing I can say is like it's a neat little puzzle game, you know, like Tetris or something like that. You know, you don't expect very much out of it. It's a puzzle game. It does puzzle game things and you just play them. Also, machine gun plant. The zombies are coming. Well, please wash your hands before you shake mine then. You know what's funny? I actually played my totally legit copy of this game until EA finally decided they were done with my shit. So yeah, Plants vs. Zombies was okay. You know what else is okay? Resident Evil 2, the remake. You know, that's really great. I wish it was on mobile. Ho, 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 there it is. All right, man, enough of these shitty mobile games. Let's play some Resident Evil 2. No. Well, it's kind of Resident Evil 2 if all the lights were turned on. Okay, let me explain. If you go in Source Filmmaker and disable the lighting on a map, this is what it looks like. What is the deal? Hey, I'll ask Marvin. Hey, Marvin, Marvin, where'd our shaders go? Hey, girl from the ring, do you have any idea why my gun doesn't have any recoil? Oh, she's not even trying to bite me. She just stood there. Or should I say she gyrated all over the floor like GoldenEye gets down? I'm sure I've got that music somewhere. Hold up. Found it. Oh, this next game's got a Russian ad. Is it Chicky Bricky? Are we gonna suka some blyat? Oh, it's 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 Granny. I I actually know this game. It's infamously bad. Imagine Slender, but coded by the same person who made the IRS website. Ho! I tell you what the true horror is in this horror game, the fucking camera controls. What I'm having to do in this emulator is click the screen to turn and then click that little white thing to move. It's really aggravating. It's like if you were trying to play this game with one hand tied behind your back. Hey guys, new speedrun challenge. Somebody beat this game with their hand tied behind their back. I want to see somebody do that. Ain't really much of nothing happening. I've just been walking around all day and- <laughs> <laughs> How much did that Halloween mask cost you at the spirit shop? <laughs> it looks like somebody left a blow up doll in the middle of the woods for two years. I tell you what, you know what that death scene needs? It needs this. Surprise, motherfucker. 
Okay, this mobile games video would not be complete unless I did a video about a genre I like to call the screaming guy icon genre. Why is this a thing? Why are they all just a guy screaming? Comment section, does anybody have an answer to that? Is there some scientific psychological studies that were put out that said that mobile games with screaming icons have more people clicking on them or something? This is a fucking conspiracy and I want an answer. So yeah, I'm going to play one of these games. In fact, I'm going to play the mother of them all. It's called Clash of Clans, and it's the one that has the Hulk Hogan looking son of a bitch screaming. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. They actually closed his mouth. Oh, it doesn't have the same impact. It's not the same. There's a Twitter hashtag for you. Open Hulk Hogan's mouth. I think this is what people call one of those real-time strategy games or RTSs or whatever. You lay down some troops, they blow up shit, and when they blow up all the shit, you win. There's also multiplayer modes when you blow up the shit of other players. You see, you have this little base here, you build that up, up you put, get a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch of like little items and shit, and a whole bunch of soldiers and stuff, and somebody can come over here and blow your shit up. But you can also blow their shit up. That is the object of the game. Blow each other's shit up blow shit up. Now they give you a fuck ton of money and items to build up your little fortress, which is fine and dandy, but you run out. And once you run out, that's when the fact it's a mobile game rears its ugly head. Now feel the fun slowing down. There we go. I've been waiting to make fun of this again. Yep. Get your moolah out, boys. And you know what's bad? People will actually do this. People will actually spend hundreds of dollars on what is a free fucking game. You know what I would rather Rather spend hundreds of dollars on, well, you know, I don't know, like guitars, car stuff, gun parts, guns themselves, you know, fun stuff, video games themselves, you know, buy physical copies and stuff, you know, anything but just turning your currency into fictional game currency that you can never get back. You can't fucking refund gold coins, man. But you know, I could do a whole 30 minute video on why I hate microtransactions, so I'm not going to do that. Let's look at some more gameplay of this 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 thing. Okay, so we've got a totally not a sentry right here. So we're going to get some of the big not a heavies to take care of that. And then we're going to get some of our shooting guys, our archers, uh, they call them in this game. And we're just going to just blow shit up. We're going to blow shit up. You know, that's what you do in the game. So let's just sit here. Let's watch this and let them do all the work because that's how these mobile games work. You don't do any work. Oh, shit. It looks like, yep, my last big dude died, and all I got now is just one freaking archer. But here's the thing, there's no enemies left. I killed all the enemies, or they killed all the enemies, so there's nothing left. It's just my one archer against this entire big complex right here. Oh, and look at that health bar not move, like, at all. How long is this gonna take? Hold it, hold it. No, 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 no. We do not steal jokes on this show. This isn't YouTube poop. We can't steal shit anymore. We got to make our own. So, um, oh, I actually can't think of anything. I'll tell you what. Let's just do one month later. Oh, it's actually still going, huh? Ooh, um, shit. Uh... Ooh. Ooh! Well, I might as well play something good while I have that going on, I guess. I need some more shit for the front yard. Lobo, my man, how's it going? You're wearing the jacket I got you, I see. How you doing, my man? Uh, oh, I won. You know what could have easily fixed the problem I just had? If the game had a time limit? That was so weird. There were no enemies to fight, so all I had to do was knock down those buildings, but I only had one little soldier there, and that little soldier could do barely any damage, so there I was. There was really no reason to quit the fight if I was going to win in the first place. That's really all there really is to the game. You run out of money, and that's where the base building fun ends, and then you just play until you're bored as fuck. All right, I think that's all the Clash of Clans I can do for a long time, like infinity. So, uh, there's one more mobile game that I played that I felt was good enough to do a review on, 
But I'm not going to do the review in this video. I want to come back to it in a later date. Oh my God, this video, man. So much suffering, so much torture. And even after finally getting through with all those games and reviewing them, I don't feel any better. Except for one thing. I finally did the mobile games episode and I don't ever have to play these games again. Ah! Yes, yes. Who's the man? Who's the fucking man? Ah! I did it. I did it. I fucking did it. I never have to play these games again. Ha! Ah! Uh, 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 it's the end of the video. I don't have to do this anymore. I can play games that I want to play now, and it's really nice. You know, we finished mobile games. I think we should celebrate. I think we should do something big. We should do something fun. We should do something that is something that I would actually want to do. Like, let's, let's go back. Let's go back to the working man roots. Let's, um... Like I, I did hunting games. I did NASCAR games. I did, I did like shit redneck type of games. Let's do one of those. Let's do another one of those episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get in front of the camera. I'll wear the stupid hat. I'll wear the stupid shirt, and we'll talk about. We'll talk about. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly what we'll do. And I'm not going to tell you. It's just going to pop up in your feed. It's going to pop up in your subscriptions one Sunday. 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 And you better fucking be there! Be there. Whoo, boy, this was one of those episodes, and I can't believe I actually went through with it. This was one of those episodes where I, I freaking dreaded opening Sony Vegas just to work on this, because it was just, oh... It was rough, man. It was rough recording it. It was rough doing it. It was rough. The world has been rough, of course. But doing this video with everything else going on has just been like punches to the face left and right. But it's done. I did it. I did the mobile games thing. Now it's time to move on to something else. We're going to have some fun. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep having fun. No matter what's going on in the world, we're going to have our little bit of positivity right here, right now in these videos. So speaking of which... The Patreon is live now. If you want to see Working Man Games before anybody else does, you can follow up on the Patreon and throw a few bucks my way. And you will only have to pay for when I upload a video. You will not have to do a monthly thing. You get paid when I work. Uh, that is called work ethic. I'm a strong believer in I don't get paid till I do my job. So again, if you sign up on Patreon, you get to see the videos before anybody else does. I will shout out your name at the end of the videos. You get to be in the Stuart K. Riley Discord and say all the mean things you want to to me. And that's the nuts and bolts of it. If you don't want to sign up for Patreon for whatever reason, and I don't care what the reason is, if you just want to donate money to me just like the one time as a tip jar kind of thing, I've also got a coffee. That's K-O-F-I coffee. You can donate right there. It, it don't even have to be nothing but like 50 cents. It don't matter. The money goes towards games, equipment, and keeping my ass fed. And my ass is hungry. It needs to be fed right now. I mean, listen to it. I mean, well, you can't hear it right now, but it's saying stuff. So shout out to my Patreon peeps, uh, Project Godzilla and Commissar Elusive. I appreciate it. Now, normally I would say something funny at the end of the video, but... It, you know, it's it's 4 a.m. right now. I'm so tired. I really need to get some sleep. I'm, so, I'm I can't even think right now. It's just fucking. It's just I'm just staring at that bed. Like, man, you need to lay down. I probably will. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the keyboard is soft.